Hi guys, I'm going to explain how to use this GSM motor control with three phase with battery backup. So once you got this package, you will receive this board, antenna, and this battery. Battery also. So, so how to install? I will explain you. So this is the battery input terminal. Just insert the battery for this, and this is power supply. You can give download CC or DC for this. And uh, these terminals, uh, uh, this first two terminal is for off relay. Second, second two terminal on relay. And this, this one R, R Y B, and this is neutral. So without three phase, this board will not work. So this will sense the three phase is there or not. Otherwise, motor will not go on. This is for dry run. These last two terminals. This can be used. Uh, this wire can be extended to nearby the water water flow. So when the water falls on this particular terminals, you keep the wires. So motor will be continues on. This will check for one minute. If there is no water outcome, the motor will go off. The off relay will go on. Now. So these are the terminals. These two terminals is internally connected to R and Y so here you will get 440 volts if you want to use 440 volt transformer you can utilize this for primary to primary winding you connect 440 volts to transformer and 12 volts output to this terminal this is for that purpose if you are connecting adapter no need of this connect directly adapter here 12 volts 2 amps adapter 1 amps is enough for this 1 amps adapter as it is having battery backup 1 amps is more than enough now how to uh, use I uh, just explain you first install the sim card insert the sim card first and connect the power supply I am using transformer here. So now this uh, 12 volts AC input is connected. Once it is connected, don't switch on. After connecting the battery, switch on the power supply. So before that, we need to install the antenna. So this is the status LED. This starting this will this will show the indication of network is connected or not. If it is blinking, network not connected. If it is stable on, network is connected. So what we'll do, we'll insert the battery first. So once you insert the battery, the LEDs will start blinking. This is network LED, this is status LED. I'll switch on the power supply. So now power is on. At start up, the off relay will go on and off. To switch off the motor. So once the network is connected, this LED will go on continuous. So if you are not connecting the three phase you try calling this will not work at startup uh, this will be in any mode so in any mode uh, no registration required you can uh, call for testing purpose you can call and you can sms to switch on the motor now so after that you register the number master number first then the slave numbers uh, up to 2 to 10 the master number registration 1 STM followed by your number so I will explain you how to use this now the network is connected this LED is continuous on now you start testing so just I am trying without registration I am calling now
already in auto mode so already registered that's why we got a message from pawn in auto mode so now it is getting off So now we are going to store the number, master number first, how to store the number, type 1, S, T, N, followed by your number, I am entering my number, so uh, send this number to this number, this sim number, we are storing the master number, 1, S, T, N. get a feedback message number one change successfully so master number is stored so if you want to store slave numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can send 2 STN followed by number 3 STN followed by number like that you can store after that you change any mode to own mode so to avoid unregistered mobile number calls so send sms 4 to make it own mode now send sms 4 so network is connected it's continues on so if network is connect not connected sms will not work so you check this led always network is connected or not okay own mode is activated successfully now this will work for only registered numbers only so what you store so the incoming calls whatever comes it won't work so this is our, our registration is over so followed by the other commands you can check auto mode auto mode while power is gone will power up if all the three phase is there in mode 1 the motor will go on in the auto mode on auto mode off there will, there will be no functions for a startup so 4 one mode 5 any mode and uh, 6 mode 1 mode 1 is you just used to this a regular purpose the in mode 1 on relay will go on for 5 seconds on off so the same uh, off command off relay will go for 5 seconds on but off so this is uh, uh, used for regular devoil starters and star data starters this is a regular method mode 2 in mode 2 if you change for mode 2 so in mode 2 this will not check the 3 phase now 3 phase is not connected here so I will change for mode 2 because if I try for mode 1 it won't work 7 for mode 2 in in mode 2 this will not check 3 phase this will uh, this will go on on relay will be continuous on and uh, when uh, pump off on relay will go off off relay will go on for 5 seconds or off now mode, fi mode 2 configured if I try calling always firings of always two rings the number you have to now the relay is getting on on relay so in mode 2 it is getting on pump is on without three phase it is getting on so we will try for uh, mode 1 now mode 1 6 this is three phase mode so without three phase it don't work mode one configured now as it is mode one configured off relay is getting on because three phase is not there so pump will go off
so pop off three phase file you got it. so now if you try calling as three phase is not connected here or maybe not ready so now what we will do we will connect the three phase we will connect three phase and check how it is working now the three phase is connected now we will uh, so you can see all the R, Y, B is connected is neutral this is a dry run if, you, if not used you can just short the two terminals so this will not detect the drive so now we will send SMS M1 for motor on, M0 for motor off, or you can call. So the, now I am trying SMS. So before three phase not ready is there. So relay is on now because three phase is detected. So you can set the on message what you are getting pump on you can change to any text so you can um, make it as generator on whatever you want you can, you can change on message equal to whatever you can you can enter off message the same thing so uh, other things uh, balance to check balance for airtel let's say reverse this decode you can send star one two one star one two three hash like that sts command was checking the status now yes yes we are sending the status checking status you will get mode auto and all the uh, conditions so straight in status pump is on auto mode is off and the uh, own mode is activated mode one mode one mode one three phase means this will check the three phase mode two means one phase when mode two this will not check three phase so below r y b r y b one 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 is there so three phase is available so this is the status so i uh, will try removing removing one phase so what will happen we'll check Now it is on, motor is on, on condition. So one phase we are removing, or one phase failure, we are removing one phase. So off relay is getting on because there is no one phase. I removed one wire, so the pump will go off now. Three phase failure. So we will check the status now. Network LED, always check the network LED. Without network, no SMS will reply. It won't respond. STS we are checking now. Status. So everything is right and R1, Y1, B is 0. So B is not available. That's why motor has gone off. So in this condition, uh, so if, uh, if there is power failure because we have a battery backup. So we switch off to power, incoming power. So we will get a mains power failure SMS immediately. So mains power failure. So in this condition, 
the modem will be turned off so if you call the modem also you won't get reply so modem will be switched off to save the battery so the the led will blink in this condition power is off so this is the indication so we'll switch on the power in the big power power came so this will restart or relay will go on and off start up so off relay is waiting on and off motor will get off if off relay is getting on and off it is getting connected so power of message you will get so whether three phase is there or one phase is there you will get now you got a message status message j is a main power on three phase if three phase is available you will get three phase if phase is missing you will get one phase we we'll check for auto mode so when power up now the relay is not on when power up if the motor should get on automatically checking the three phase send sms to auto mode auto mode we are making on now auto mode is on so we'll switch off the power Main power failed. Again, we'll switch on the power. In this mode, off relay will go on and off once. In auto mode, so the auto mode is on. The pump will automatically getting on if three phase is available. Now off relay is going on and off. Motor is getting connected now. Now it is on relay is getting on. Now pump is on. So we'll get SMS feedback. Pump on. Auto mode. On three phase. So now pump is on. If there is a phase failure, you will the pump will go off. Now we'll check the dry run. We'll disconnect the dry. dry run is not connected what will happen so after 1 minute pump is pump is getting off due to dry run failure you go thing about the message so motor can be switched on by message or calling also Uh, for message use m1 for more pump on m0 for pump on and by this call means you just call to that number and after six rings is getting disconnected means pump is getting on in two rings or three rings you are disconnected pump is getting off so if there is no feedback of sms also you can assume by using rings thanks for thank you for watching this video so send me your feedback through youtube So we didn't do.